Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a look at the week ahead analysis. We're going to go through some strength and weakness stuff as well as some key charts to watch for the week. So we can see here sort of the bigger changes. Um, we actually saw a little bit of strength last week in the Australian dollar and it moved from those minus five levels, um, that reversal area gained a bit of strength um, across the board. Um, we saw the dollar continue to gain some strength as well, which is interesting to see. And we still have the Swiss franc and the yen remaining in those reversal zones. So we're still going to see that the yen is really weak and that the Swiss franc is really strong. Could we start to see rever reversals in those markets? Time will tell. So let's jump into some charts of interest. I'm actually going to start off with Euro US dollar and I'm going to look at this daily time frame in here because the structure's changing of the trend slightly. So we wanted to see two closes below this low in here. Um, we didn't get that initially. Price actually performed a bit of a false breakout in here. Um, however, we have started to see that rollover now. So is that showing us that the dollar is gaining some strength? And what I've marked out here is last week's close, the open, the high and the low. And what I'd really want to see is a couple of things happen. I'd want to see last week's low being taken out and then price either use that last week's low as resistance or the close or even if it can come back to last week's open then that could be an opportunity to look to get short on the market so keep an eye on euro us dollar here and um, the potential for this market to trend down is quite is quite high looking at the dollar's recent price action and 1.2 should be the level that we look for price to end up at in the next coming weeks or so with the market finding some key resistance and support in these areas Moving on down to dollar Swiss on the weekly time frame. Um, just keeping an eye on this one, we actually bought this one last week and ended up banking the profits on it. Basically, what we're still looking at is the fact that, oops, didn't mean to do that. We're still looking at the fact that the price is still uh, bouncing from this kind of key support area down in here where the market recently rallied to the upside the fact that we're getting these sort of low ranging candlesticks with wicks involved is also suggesting that there's a lot of buying and selling going on down in this area if we look at the daily time frame it looks to me that we're forming a double bottom pattern um, for long term buyers I'd still want to see price trade above this 9030 level um, and what I mean by that is for the long term sort of swing trading um, I would look for buys above this level for now we've still got to look for only short term buying um, as price is still technically um, in a downtrend here Dollar CAD could be an interesting watch because we have now finally broken last week's highs. We, talk, we talked about the fact that we have these low ranging candlesticks down in here. Price is now breaking out of that. So I'm expecting some upside out of this market going into this week. If I look at the daily time frame, ideally what you want to see going out into a breakout is two closes above these previous structure highs so might need to wait for that before looking for that long because what we don't want to do is get caught in a false breakout and say price drop lower so look for two closes above these highs in here and then we'll look for those further long opportunities finally euro r's i'm going to pick out euro r's because price has recently broken out of this um, key support or key range i should say and price is slowly making its way back down into these levels here. So I'm looking for potential long opportunities. If I just pop in a couple of levels in here, so 156.75 and sort of uh, these highs down in here, 156.26. If we look at this zone through here and we look at the fact that price is kind of finding some support here right now um, and then go into the daily time frame to zoom out a little bit you can see that again price is starting to make sort of a double bottom pattern in here if we are to see some upside to this market then you know we could look for some break in trend and a retest of the previous structure lows in order to look for those sort of long opportunities through there so keep an eye on euro aussie as well could be one to watch on a trend trade opportunity Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.